Hey everyone, it's Sue from Moat, and in this episode of Moat for Students, we're gonna explore Moat in Google Forms. If your teacher shares a form with you that has a moat in it, what is this gonna look like, or I guess I should say sound like, and how can you reply to their audio moat with a moat of your own? Let's get started. As with some of the other Google tools, when using Google Forms, if you have the Moat extension installed, it's gonna be a little bit of a different experience than if you do not. So to show that, I have two examples here. The form on the left is if you do have the extension installed, and the form on the right is going to be an example if you do not have the extension installed. The main difference that you're gonna see between these two forms is if you happen to have the extension installed, you'll have this clickable card where you can listen to the moat that your teacher left you. So if they read the question aloud or if they're giving you additional information, and you don't have to leave the form in order to hear it. Choose a planet in the solar system. I can select my answer here. For the student who does not have the extension installed, just one extra step, you'll see here is a link instead, where I can simply click on this link. The website will have the exact same audio note that was left for the student that does have the extension installed, but I do have to leave the form in order to hear it. Choose a planet in the solar system. And then I can come back to my form and make my selection. For open-ended questions in forms, I can still hear my teacher read the question to me. In your own words, explain two facts about the planet that you selected in question one. And then I can simply click this button over here if I want to record an audio response and actually use my own words. Jupiter is actually the largest planet in the solar system and it spins the fastest. Now when I'm done, I can either listen back to my moat I can hit remove if I'd like to re-record my moat, or I can hit submit when I'm ready. For the student that doesn't have the moat extension installed, that's okay. I can once again click this button to hear my teacher's directions or hear my teacher read the question aloud, which will actually give me some features when it comes to replying to the moats that are left on our moat website. And then I can come back to my form and type my answer. and hit submit. And that is how you can use Google Forms and Moat to explain your answer in your own words by actually using your own words. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget that the rest of the videos in our Moat student video series can be found in the links that are in the description below. Bye-bye.